Good morning, class. It's nice to see you. How are you all doing today? Good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm also doing well. Thank you for asking. So yesterday, as you, all, I hope you all remember, we uh, listened to and watched a TED talk from Emily Esfani about titled "There's More to Life Than Being Happy," and she discusses happiness and meaning. So do you remember what the definition of meaning is from the TED Talk? Good. Yeah, having a purpose, having a reason to get up in the morning, something to do. Do you remember the four pillars of meaning that Emily Esfani talked about? What was the first one? Belonging. Good. What does it mean, belonging? Yeah, having a group, whether that's friends or family, that you are a part of. Good. Um, what was the next pillar? Purpose. Yes. What is do to have a reason that maybe you serve others, to help others? Good. So that could be, uh, whether it's for me, would be teaching. For you, perhaps it's uh, a job that you do. Perhaps your purpose right now is learning in school. Good. Uh, do you remember the third pillar of meaning? It was kind of a, it was a new word for us. Transcendence. Yes. What does transcendence mean? Who remembers? Yeah. Connecting to something bigger in this world and being a part of, whether that's through writing like Emily Esfani suggested or being out in nature. Some people through do it through dance, um, lots of different things through music, right? So being able to get a larger sense of Good. And the final one, the fourth pillar, what was that? Storytelling. Yes. So the stories we tell ourselves about ourselves, our personal narrative. Great. Good job. So we're going to use this information today. And for your homework yesterday, the first part of your homework was to answer the 10 questions about happiness and meaning that you were given. So as you all know, we're going to Skype our friends from the United States <coughs> that we have been writing letters to uh, in Oregon for the past school year. And we're going to talk to them today, of course, about happiness and meaning. So they were given the same 10 questions and they have prepared their answers. So we will ask and, an ask and answer each other these questions. Um, and then we will be able to compare and contrast cultural differences between the United States and Ukraine. So in order to do this better, your, uh, the second part of your homework was to come up with three more questions about happiness and meaning that could really show us what the cultural differences and similarities might be. So what are some of the questions that you came up with? Okay, good. For, um, family traditions. What are your family traditions? That'll give us a good idea into what the, some um, different cultures do, right? To celebrate either just holidays or different traditions that different countries have. What's another question that you came up with? What are your passions? Good. This uh, could have something to do with purpose, right? Finding out what their purpose might be, how they find their purpose, because it's different for each individual. And then we can try and see if it's different within each country too. What else did you come up with? What groups are you a part of? <coughs> Excuse me. That's great. Um, that's to do with the pillar under belonging, right? The pillar of belonging. Um, whether that's with their family, what cliques they might have at school, and we'll see if they're any different. What else? What do you do to relax? Great. That could be with transcendence, too. What do people do to connect? What do people do to feel good? Any others that you came up with? <clears throat> yeah, that's an interesting one. What are your favorite memories? That would be, we'll see how that's different for each person, and then we'll be able to see if uh, there's any similarities among us all. Great. So remember, we're going to be focusing on cultural differences and similarities. That is our goal. So I want you to take out your notebook before we start Skyping our friends, and at the top half of your piece of paper, Please divide it into two sides, so from the top half. And the left side, I want you to label it similarities. And the right side, you guessed it, differences. 
So on the left side, you will write down any similarities that you hear while we're discuss while we're speaking with um, the classroom in the United States. And on the right, you are going to write down any differences that you hear. So on the bottom half of your paper, um, that is where you are going to leave room for questions or any clarification that you need. So that is where um, if something just really doesn't make sense, but you don't want to interrupt the whole uh, the whole session, please write it down there. Um, and also, if you just think of something else or you want to have a thought to come back to, you can write it down there. OK, so please try and take good notes because you're going to need them for your um, your next task, which is going to be to create a presentation with your neighbor, with your table mate. Um, about the cultural differences and similarities um, between the USA and Ukraine about meaning and um, happiness. So you will use the answers to the questions and um, you will also think about how we all answer, how you all answer the questions and you will create your four to six minute presentation that will be due the next class period. So focus on specific examples that the um, students give and then you can also use examples from your own life for your presentation. And then once we see everyone's presentation, we'll be able to decide if we, um, what we think about the differences and similarities between the USA and um, Ukraine about happiness and meaning. Okay? So we are uh, about to Skype our classroom in the United States. If you have any questions, if something doesn't make sense, if you need any translations while we're discussing with them, please call me over and we can quietly talk about it if something is just making it really confusing for you, okay? All right, so let's get started.